Welcome. Welcome to Real Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. This is so wonderful for you not even knowing anything about me for you to turn around and say, yes, I want that. And in life, yes is the door opener. So by all means, thank you. And would you please introduce yourself? Thank you. Thank you for having me, Lisa. Yes. I, I am a big yes to the world. I think mm -hmm. you have to be, be a big yes, a big yes to the world. Open your soul. My name is Heidi Rios, and I live in Baltimore, Maryland, but I come from Nicaragua. I'm here uh, sharing this space with amazing women to talk about our journey from our homeland and all the way to business women, real estate, entrepreneurship. Yes. And what exactly do you do? I'm an educator. I've been uh, teaching high school students for many decades, and okay. uh, um, more now recently, a active and passive real estate investor, syndication, multifamily through multifamily. That's beautiful. So when you teach, I have a big heart when it comes to women and children. Uh, the work that I do as a women's wellness expert. What made you decide to be a teacher? Lisa, nothing makes me feel more truly alive mm -hmm. than when I'm teaching. Okay. And I'm planning to stay that as long as I'm breathing. I think that you learn and you take so much more than what you give when you're teaching. Um, I work with the coolest people on earth, very interesting, um, so who smart do you teach? high school students. High school. Yes, they're warriors of life and love that are teaching me every day. So uh, I stay there because that's how I keep my soul young and I talk about that in my book and I'm every day inspired by being a little little part of their uh, growth because their growth is my growth okay and so growing up who was your inspiration my inspiration was uh, the way that we uh, my country who my people you? my people my yeah. people inspire me Nicaragua inspired inspire me we make things happen. Mm. There's not a thing that Nicaraguans cannot do. If it doesn't exist, we invent it. I love that one. <laughs> if it doesn't exist, we invent it. It also rhymes. So a child that is in your class and is being inspired by you, what is it that one thing that if you say, I taught this one child and one child made an impact in your life, Who's that one child that right off the bat you can think of? Wow, there's not one in particular. I have so many uh, stories, so many stories, and so many years, and everybody's so unique and special. They all are part of my of my growth. Um, but if there's something that they would say, it was a question that if they how I inspire them, what they inspire me? One child that impacted you in a way that you can still remember. Oh wow, one child. Uh, there's this kid that comes from a broken home, a kid that has no support, crossed the border, uh, walked miles and miles in the desert, and there he is, showing up every day. I wanna have that strength. And this kid is determined to weigh his, his way up and be an agent of change. We talk about his dreams and how he wants to change, make a difference in this world, and I wanna be like him. And he's amazing, and, 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 and I get to see him, and I, need to, I get to have uh, lunches with them, not just this one kid, but. So you help, and you also witness him blossoming. Yes, perfect. And it's, it's an amazing feeling, it's what keeps my, I, I, I love feeding my brain with their stories and their growth. You are and attracting? So, who you are, and as you blossom, you impacted that one child that is ready to blossom. And I thank you for the work that you are doing in this world and globally. Thank you thank for being you, the powerful she that you are. Thank you. Thank powerful you so she. much. <laughs>